every hero has to start somewhere. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're looking at our picks for the top 10 superhero origin story movies. American Patriot. Even from an early age, the son of legendary weapons developer Howard Stark quickly stole the spotlight with his brilliant and unique mind. For this list, we're looking at movies that depict the origins and backstories of superheroes that originally made their debut in comics. <laughs> We aren't simply looking at the first movie in the series, but rather the movies that cover the characters' beginnings and how they became the heroes we all know and love. Therefore, movies like Tim Burton's 1989 Batman don't qualify, as Bruce Wayne begins that movie as the Dark Knight, and his origin is only told briefly through flashbacks. Number 10, Ant-Man. Hi, I'm Scott. Did he just say, hi, I'm Scott? What are you doing here? First off, I'm a big fan. Appreciate it. So who the hell are you? I'm Ant-Man. It took years to get this guy off the ground, but it was well worth the wait. Probably the most interesting thing about this movie is that Scott Lang isn't the first person to wear the shrinking suit, instead showing the original Ant-Man, Hank Pym, as a now retired superhero. If only you'd protected Janet with such ferocity, Dr. Pym. Uh. Easy, Hank. The action comedy depicts Pym passing down the title to reformed con man Lang, so he can redeem himself and stop Pym's protege, Darren Cross, from using Pym's technology for personal gain. Did you think you could stop the future with a heist? It was never just a heist! As a bonus, the movie also sets up the origin of Ant-Man's partner, the Wasp, set to be taken up by Pym's daughter, Hope, in a future film. This is an advanced prototype that your mother and I worked on together. She never got to use it. Number nine, Man of Steel. Lady Laura, shouldn't you find refuge? There is no refuge, Kido. Gerard was right. How do you properly update the story of the most iconic superhero of all time? One who already has a near-perfect film? Easy, miss. I've got you. you. You've got me? Who's got you? <laughs> Zack Snyder tried his hand at it in 2013, tweaking many of the details about Soup's origin that we take for granted. Spending a lot more time on Superman's homeworld of Krypton, we learn a lot more about the people who live there and how their planet came to fall. These lawmakers, with their endless debates, have led Krypton to ruin. And if your forces prevail, you'll be the leader of nothing. Then join me. Besides that, the film shows Clark Kent's upbringing and eventual debut as Superman by way of a non-linear narrative, resulting in a radically different and interesting version of one of the most famous origins in pop culture. Where is the Codex, Cal? If Krypton lives again, what happens to Earth? The foundation has to be built on something. Even your father recognized that. Number eight, The Crow. A building gets torched. All that is left is ashes. I used to think that was true about everything. Families, friends, feelings. While nowadays the quality of the film is overshadowed by it being the last work of actor Brandon Lee, it shouldn't be forgotten that Alex Proya's adaptation of the 1989 comic is an outstanding backstory for an iconic cult character. Suddenly, I heard a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. A visually arresting comic book film, it depicts the story of vigilante Eric Draven, who is brought back from the dead to avenge the murder of his fiance, becoming the titular dark, vengeful hero. You're him, huh? The Avenger. The killer of killers. Nice outfit. I'm not sure about the face, though. I just want him. <laughs> well, you can have him. While the film spawned a sequel that was not great, the impact and depth of the original should not be overlooked. Number seven, X-Men First Class. While breakout character Wolverine got his own let's just say less than stellar origin movie in 2009, it wasn't until two years later that we were given a proper cinematic backstory for Marvel's Merry Mutants. Here, you have the chance to be part of something much bigger than yourself. I won't stop you leaving. I could. But I won't. 
Bolstered by great performances by James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender as Charles Xavier and Eric Lencher respectively, this 60s movie shows the genesis for the entire X-Men universe. We are shown the origins of characters like Mystique and Beast, and Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Even better, this sublime installment brought the X-Men series out of the rut that it was in, and restored it to glory after the complete disaster that was X-Men 3. What have I done? Number 6. Captain America, the First Avenger Lieutenant? What is it? My god. Base, give me a line to the colonel. Marvel definitely had their work cut out for them on this one. When you brought a 90-pound asthmatic onto my army base, I let it slide. I thought, what the hell, maybe it'd be useful to you like a gerbil. Never thought you'd pick him. This 2011 film had to pull double duty, providing not only a believable backstory for the character that would become the moral center of the Avengers, but also setting up the beginnings of S.H.I.E.L.D. and other key elements of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You have never seen this, have you? It's not for the eyes of ordinary men. Exactly. Thankfully, director Joe Johnston was able to craft an explosive World War II action adventure film, successfully adding in all the requisite exposition and casting the great Chris Evans as the quintessential American hero. And the Germans will think twice about trying to get the drop on us. Number five, Deadpool. You're probably thinking this was a superhero movie, but that guy in the suit just turned that other guy into a fucking kebab. Surprise. This is a different kind of superhero story. It was good. Thank God that it was good. After sodomizing Wade Wilson in X-Men Origins Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds brought Fox kicking and screaming back into the light. It's absolutely incredible that the 2016 movie even happened, let alone the fact that we all got him uncensored and unapologetic. Ugh. I'm touching myself tonight. The insanity of Deadpool was finally translated onto the big screen, just as if it had been ripped out of the pages of Raw Leafield's classic comics and thrown into a projector. Have you seen this man? I never say this, but don't swallow. After two failed attempts, Ryan Reynolds finally stuck the superhero landing. Go get some. She's gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it. Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Number four, Guardians of the Galaxy. Among the crazier things Marvel Studios have done with their movies was expecting audiences to fully embrace some of their more outlandish characters. Enter this bunch of a-holes from 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. Good Let's make something clear. This one here is our booty. But thanks to the killer direction of James Gunn and the performances of Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, and Dave Bautista, we bought into the world of the Guardians hook, line, and sinker. Now I'm standing. You all happy? We're all standing up now. Bunch of jackasses standing in a circle. The movie is basically Cosmic Avengers, showing how the titular team of misfits comes together to defeat a powerful evil, while being endlessly enjoyable and quotable. It's just a metaphor, dude. His people are completely literal. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. Bonus points for bringing the Marvel movies into the uncharted territory of outer space. These pods are industrial grade. They're nearly indestructible. Not against Necroblast, they're not. That's not what I'm saying. Number three, Spider-Man. What's your name, kid? The Human Spider. The Human Spider, that's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Spidey's iconic origin was finally done justice in 2002 with Tobey Maguire playing what is still the best movie version of Peter Parker. Peter? Yeah? Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. Having to deal with new superpowers and the guilt over the death of his father figure, Uncle Ben, this movie had a hell of a lot of bases to hit in order to keep audiences satisfied. They're crap. 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 Mega crap. I'll give you 200 bucks for all of them. That seems a little low. Everything comes together, however, and the personal drama and web-slinging action that the character represents is on full display in this classic. Hold on! <laughs> Watch out! No! Number two, Iron Man.
people often forget that unless you were a comic book reader, Iron Man really wasn't a big deal. However, in 2008, this movie not only cemented Iron Man's place in mainstream pop culture, but also kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe that is still going strong today. For your consideration, the Jericho. Robert Downey Jr. absolutely nails it in a fascinating and enjoyable tale of how Stark becomes Iron Man, while also introducing Pepper Potts and James Rhodes into the mix. Hot sake? Yes, two, please. No, just, I'm not drinking. I don't want any. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Few will ever forget how refreshing and truly marvelous this movie was. <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Well, you had bald ones with green makeup wear masks over ugly faces no better strike one For good measure, here is a dishonorable mention. All right, Sir Lancelot, move away from those weapons. Get your hands up. Why up? <laughs> Number one, Batman Begins. Your parents' death was not your fault. If there was ever a costumed superhero that deserved a dark and atmospheric movie, it's the world's greatest detective. Tim Burton's 1989 film did a great job of getting the Dark Knight out of the cheese in camp, only to have him fall right back into it several years later. You're not the only one who can set a trap, Venus. Sorry, my vines have a crush on you. <laughs> Nolan's 2005 Batman Begins, however, introduced audiences to a Batman that many people hadn't seen yet and really took the time to explore the complexities of the Caped Crusader. I saved your life. I warned you about compassion, Bruce. Your quarrel is with me. You let these people go. The film expertly depicts all the major beats of Bruce Wayne's life, from his parents' murder, to his training, to his first victories as the Batman, culminating in a comic book film whose effects are still being felt today. You could die. At least tell me your name. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. Do you agree with our list? We want the same thing. <laughs> oh, my friend. I'm sorry. But we do not. What do you think are the best origin story films? You are haunting. You look like an avocado had sex with an older avocado. Thank you. For more original top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. If you're not